Well, aloha, Hope Chapel family and friends. Uh, this is Bob Flores with the Men's Ministry. And uh, first of all, I just want to say God bless you. God bless you all for uh, what you're having to go through in just this monumental time now. And uh, the other thing is, um, there's three things that I've been thinking about that, that I'd like to share with you during this time, just words of encouragement as we're all going through this. And uh, the first thing that, that I thought about is that we are prepared for this as Christians. Uh, I think about the number of times where Jesus has reinforced to his disciples and his apostles that he has taught them and shown them uh, the way to be in the world. And right now, uh, we have different, uh, different ways of, of handling these things. And I think particularly with the men and women here at Hope Chapel who've gone through the detour study by Tony Evans, and remember the point there, the major point was that God has detours uh, for us to prepare us for his next act, whatever that may be. And uh, we don't see that at times. You know, we, we rarely see his plan, but we can always know his presence if we do that. One of the key concepts out of that study was um, in, in the chapter on pa the patience of detours, uh, Tony Evans talked about waiting well. And basically what he's saying there is do what you know. I mean, if, if you love to pray, just spend more time in prayer. If you love to play worship music and praise mu music, spend more time doing that. Uh, if, if you have devotionals, maybe pick up another devotional. Uh, one of the things that I would recommend is going back maybe to uh, some of the, the, the uh, studies that we've done here. Uh, the, the, uh, the power of God's names is ones that I think about, the, the detours. Um, I know the men have gone through three different studies recently uh, by Kenny Luck. Maybe go back and look at some of those books. And, and if you missed a week, uh, go back and, and reread those chapters. I'm going to make a recommendation right now because I know a lot of people have, have uh, done the detours study that you go back to... Um, the, the chapter on uh, Jehovah Rohi. And that's where Tony Evans for three days builds around the concept of Psalm 23, one of the most famous Psalms. Uh, even if people aren't Christians, they, they know a lot of the concepts of that. Uh, because when I read that a few months ago, it, it just seemed like it would be a chance to be life changing for some people. You know, the Lord is my shepherd. And so I would encourage you to do that. The second thing. That, uh, that I'd like to uh, recommend to you is uh, somebody said this uh, in, in an email that I got uh, a couple of weeks ago, that during these times, uh, make sure that we meditate and don't medicate. Now, this isn't demonizing TV. It's not demonizing having a drink. It's not demonizing uh, binge watching movies and that. But really more the point is to make sure that you incorporate God. Make sure you, you expand your relationship at this time uh, through the meditation and, and thinking about things that you already know how to do. Uh, I, have, I have a friend who's a songwriter. He's already written a song for this time. I have a friend who does scrapbooking. Uh, I know some people who are going through old albums. You know, they, We actually have pictures and uh, putting those into albums, you know, these boxes of things. But the biggest thing in this concept is to continue to just invite God into that, maybe in ways that you've never done before. You've got the chance to do that now, and so I just want to encourage you to do that. There's a book called uh, Practicing the Presence of God by a man named Brother Lawrence. He's a monk, and of course, he probably had more time in his hands to do these things, but he just talked about how he thinks about God, how he worships God when he's washing the dishes, when he's, when he's cleaning the windows, when he's doing his laundry, when he's making his bed. And so now that we have this time, this reset almost, uh, in our lives, I want to encourage you to, to do that. And then the last thing I want to uh, talk about uh, concept is that we, at this point, we are all caregivers. Uh, many of you know what Victoria and I have been through with her injury, and I never thought of myself as a caregiver uh, by nature, as an introvert. I'm not really good at that. <laughs> She'd be the first one to, to uh, let you know that. But right now, I believe that we are all caregivers. I was reading uh, in, in the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew talks about uh, to, to give to people who ask, don't turn from your brother. And, uh, and right previous to that, he's talking about 
how we're supposed to be with our enemies, you know, if they demand things from us and they want things from us. So if Jesus would say, here's how we are to be with our enemies, uh, could you imagine even more how we are supposed to be with the people that we love? So uh, one of my life verses is uh, Psalm 4610, and that's the one you may be familiar with. It says that, be just be still, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. And that psalm starts out, though, with Jesus saying that, you know, that, that, that I am, or the, 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 the author saying, you know, describing God, that, that he is our, our shield, he is our protection, he is our everlasting uh, God in the midst of all the trials. So we've been promised trials, we've been promised trials and tribulations, there's no doubt about that. And uh, how well we do this, and... Uh, and how well we wait, as Tony Evans says, and how we focus and look from the knowledge that we have that, this, that these detours in our life are God's way of just preparing us for that next step. And the thing that I would pray for you right now is that you always, always feel his presence, even though you never know what his plan is. So God bless you. Take care of each other. And Hope Chapel is here for you. If you need anything, just contact us. Thank you.